Welcome brethren for visiting our channel known as Division of Labor today. We are at the altar of the God of Okosharofancho. Okosharofancho. Hello brethren. We are glad you are here today on this year 100 days prayer and fasting window. We are at the altar of solution in Zion prayer movement outreach, led by God's servant Ibukaobi. The prayer ground is a Holy Ghost citadel of Ofosharofancha. Okosharofancha. Omesharofancha. And Otisharofancha. Hallelujah and Amen. You are welcome on day 55 in 100 days fasting and prayer, Thursday, July 11, 2024. Our topic, Divine Direction is a Leeway to Success. Scriptures from New King James Version verse we take on Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Psalm 37 verse 23 to 24, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. Amen. Proverbs 16 verse 9, A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Hallelujah, praise God for the reading of his word. Amen. Meditation and summary on today's scriptural passages. The word of God says in T. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, I alone knows the plans I have for you, plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster, and plans to bring about the future you hope for. This simply means that you are special and your maker says that he has special plans for you. Your duty is to pray earnestly so as to locate, identify, discern and discover his plans and purposes for you. Do not imitate anybody because the plan of God for that person may be different from yours. This further means that if you undertake a project or mission that is not in conformity with the plan of God for you, there is a possibility that you may have abandoned or uncompleted project or mission. If you allow the Lord to lead and direct your ways, then your projects must always be accomplished. You will not have abandoned projects. You will not record unfulfilled mission and your sweat will always be rewarded, your efforts will always achieve good results, because the Lord is in charge. Allow the Lord to lead and direct your ways and action so that your success will be guaranteed. The scripture says in Isaiah 46 verse 10 that he sees the end from the beginning. Submit your will and proposals to him and he will locate, direct and relocate your life to where it will be celebrated, beautified and magnified. You are close to where you are going. This program will bring you sudden, instant and unpredictable transformation for extravagant breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen and Amen. We take on our prayer points 1 to 4. Prayer points number 1. Lord, by your power, order my steps for your glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, order my steps for your glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, order my steps for your glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, by your power, 
Order my steps for your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer points number two. My Father, by your power and mercy, be involved in all my dealings, endeavors and aspirations in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power and mercy, be involved in all my dealings, endeavors and aspirations in the name of Jesus. My Father, by your power and mercy, be involved in all my dealings, endeavors and aspirations in the name of Jesus. Amen. Prayer points number three. O Lord, by your power, lead, guide and direct all my activities in life for your glory in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, lead, guide and direct all my activities in life for your glory in the name of Jesus. O Lord, by your power, lead, guide and direct all my activities in life for your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Matthew 17, 27, Jesus said to Peter, Go, see the fish, see the fish, you will see money in the mouth of that fish. Amen. Many of you are always passing from where your breakthrough will be. From now, any move you make in business will profit you. Amen. I remember an air boys boys in a girl's ear. Amen. I can't remember before. I wonder how I walk. I'm going to know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the TBS. 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 Not just that he got visa connections. I'm going to go to the TBS. I'm going to go to the TBS. I'm going to go to the TBS. I connect you to the realm of financial breakthrough. Amen. That you will not lack from this moment. Amen. Everything about you in this hundred days will be a magnet of favor. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. I close the chapter and pages of wretchedness in your lineage. Amen. Power. From today, whatever you put your hand, you will rejoice over it. Amen. Money will respect you. Amen. Money will honor you. Amen. This family, giant is rising from your family. Amen. Financial giant. Amen. Psalm 35 to 27, magnifying the Lord who take pleasure in the prosperity of his children. He made his self poor that you may be rich. So I may be on the financial pinoniers. Amen. I am no mad or mad in the shame I may Peter and John says, Silly man, God, we don't have what we have, we, have, we give you. We have the anointing by the grace of God. And I call the anointing of financial people. But from now, financial battles that are close for your ancestors, your great grandfathers, your father, your ancestors will open for you. Amen. And what no one has ever achieved in your family, you are going to achieve it. Amen. If you believe it, seven hearts, amen. 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 And I declare you healed. Amen. From now you are delivered. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you, blood of Jesus. In Jesus' holy name. Prayer point number four. Brethren, pray according to Psalm 122 verse 6, for the peace of our spiritual director, Evangelist Abuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach, they shall prosper that love thee. It is important according to Ephesians 6 verse 19, and for God's servant, that utterance may be given to him, 
that he may open his mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which he is an ambassador in chains, that in it he may speak boldly, as he ought to speak. For that reason, in Philippians 1 verse 19 For he know that through our prayers and God's provision of the Spirit of Jesus Christ what has happened to him will turn out for his deliverance. We intercede as it is written in Colossians for verse 3 and pray for Zionites, also, that God may open a door for our message, so that we may proclaim the mystery of Christ, for which we are in battles. We invoke the throne verdict from the book of Isaiah 44 verse 25, Jehovah who frustrated the tokens of the liars, against those who satanically use Zion prayer movement outreach as their full-time business, and God makes the diviners mad, he turned wise men backward, and makes their knowledge foolish. Again, in Job 5 verse 12 he disappointed the devices of the native doctors and crafty that speaks against brother Abuka Obi, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, let God arise and scatter every conspiracy from the heavenliest and from the water that rages against God's servant and his ministry, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Almighty God! According to your word in Deuteronomy 33 verses 26 to 27, there is no one like the God of brother Abuka Obi, who rides the heavens to help his servant, and in his excellency on the clouds. The eternal God is prophet Abuka's refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, he will thrust out the enemy from before Zion prayer movement outreach, and will say, destroy. Again Father, your word says in Psalms 105 verse 15, saying, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. We decree and declare. O you that troubled the ministry of Evangelist Abuka Obi and Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, the God of fire and thunder shall trouble you today, in the name of Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, your word said in, Zechariah 2 verse 5, For me, says the Lord, will be a wall of fire all around Zion Prayer Movement's premises, and I will be the glory in her midst. Now we pray that every enemy of the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministry scatter, in the name of Jesus. O oh God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! You have challenged us in your word, Isaiah 41 verse 21 that we should present our case, says the Lord. And we should bring forth our strong reasons, says the King of Jacob. We therefore pray according to Isaiah 8 verse 9 Associate yourselves, O ye people of Antichrist, and ye shall be broken in pieces, and give ear, all ye of far countries, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces, gird yourselves, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, and it shall come to naught, speak the word, and it shall not stand, for God is with Zion prayer movement outreach. Trust in God concerning the treachery of friends in ministry. To the spiritual director. With stringed instruments. A contemplation of Prophet Abuka Obi, Selah. According to Psalm 55 verses 12 to 14, he prayed. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. But it was you, a man my equal in the evangelical movement, my companion and my acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throng. O God of Zion Prayer Ministry Outreach! In your word Psalm 109 verse 28, Let them curse, but you bless, when they arise, let them be ashamed, but let your servant brother Abuka Obi rejoice. In Psalm 112 verse 10, The wicked will see Zion prayer movement outreach flourished and be grieved, they will gnash their teeth and melt away, the desire of the wicked social media shall perish, in the name of God of Ofa Sharafancha, Okwa Sharafancha, Oma Sharafancha, and O.T. Sharafancha. Amen. Hallelujah! Also our Father, your word said in Matthew 15 verse 13, said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. O oh God, arise and uproot anything you did not plant inside the Zion Prayer Movement Outreach Ministries, in Jesus' name. Amen! According to 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20, For all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by Zion Prayer Movement Outreach. Father, we pray like your prophet Jeremiah 17 verse 18, Let them be ashamed who persecute prophet Abuka Obi, but do not let him be put to shame, let his enemies be dismayed, but do not let him be dismayed. Bring on his enemy the day of doom, the day of calamity, the day of disaster, and destroy them with double destruction. 
for it is written, 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6, since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble Zion prayer movement outreach. We pray now, let the fire of Holy Ghost and revival fall upon Zion prayer movement outreach ministries, in the name of Jesus, our Father in heaven, according to your word in Psalm 27 verse 11, teach your servant brother Abuka Obi your way, Lord, lead him in a straight path because of his enemies. Heavenly Father, in your word, Numbers chapter 6 verse 23 to 26, you spoke to your servant prophet Abuka Obi and his congregations all over the world, saying, this is the way you shall bless the children of Zionites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you, the Lord make his face shine upon you, and be gracious to you, for the Lord lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Zionites, and I will bless them as their God. Amen. Brethren we conclude our prayer point number 4 according to Galatians 6 verse 17 to 18, from henceforth let no man trouble Zion prayer movement outreach, for we bear in our body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Prayer point 4, we pray for Zionites worldwide, that the grace of prophecy with instant solution that works here, the same grace will begin to affect all Zionites, wherever they are. Amen. And then we have reason for testimony. Amen. That God will protect Zion from the hands of the enemy. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Effective prayer Brethren, take up your prayer. Effective prayer book number 36. Prayer for God's direction and will. Perfect master and king, you are the only God who sees from the beginning to the end of man. Every step or move of man is known to you. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11, you said, I alone know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. On this day, Lord of hosts, I call on you to come and take your place in my life and destiny. Amen. I call on you for divine direction. You said, that the steps of the righteous are ordered by you, Psalm 37 verse 23, Come Lord Jesus and order my steps. Amen. Come Lord Jesus and direct me on the right path of life. Amen. Do not allow me, Lord, to go the wrong direction that will lead me to sorrow and death. Amen. Do not allow me to move in the direction you have not planned for my destiny. Your will for me in 3 John 1 verse 2 is, to prosper and be in good health, even as my soul prospers. Amen. Every evil direction and where the devil wants me to follow, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. May all my enemies' plans be disappointed and frustrated in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord may every step and direction I go from today connect me to my favor. Amen. May I also meet my divine helpers as I rise daily for my activities. Amen. May your power direct me to walk in the direction of my abundance. Amen. May your power direct me to the top, prosper me and give me joy everlasting in Jesus' name. Amen. Please brethren, 
See the prayer script in the description below and subscribe our channel and share to your friends and family as it is written in Psalm 68 verse 11, King James Version, that the Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. Our YouTube channel does not represent the ministries in any way or speak on their behalf but the spiritual director have many times encouraged lovers of kingdom of God to propagate the gospel of Savior Jesus Christ and our channel don't solicit funds of any kind. See you on tomorrow's prayer and fasting. May the Lord bless you and keep and cause His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and loved ones. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and hallelujah. Shall we call the house of prayer? In the name of the Father, talk less. Talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to Him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him before the crusade. You will be surprised what will happen. Remember that our fasting is coming to an end gradually. Now you should talk less and listen more to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes at this dying minute, the enemy tempts people of God to spoil what they started for a long time. And I have told you before, even if you have fell, start today. We still have almost 28 days or 29. Be serious right now. I've tested this God who speaks to me all the time about people case. I've tested and know he's good. Talk less. Talk when it's important. Read your Bible more. Pray and listen to him more. Have a good rapport, relationship with him before the crusade. You will be surprised what will happen. I told you before, some people will receive their own miracles instantly. Some people have received already. They will still receive. Some people after the program. Everybody's timeline is not the same. 